You ever have that feeling in your stomach where you're not quite sure if you just did something really good or if you did something really stupid? That's me. Hey, it's Steve with Happy Heart Treasures, and I just did a buyout. A guy messaged me this morning, said, hey, I have a bunch of stuff that you might be interested in. Uh, if you can come take a look, and we'll see if you're interested. And Donna's not feeling too good today, so you're stuck with just me today. There went half of the viewers, at least. Um, <laughs> so yeah, she's resting. She's actually asleep, so we're going to leave her alone. Uh, but I went down to check out this guy's stuff, and uh, I bought it. And I don't know if I just had a really good buy where I'm going to make some good money or if I just took my money and flushed it down the toilet. But I'm going to let you guys decide because what I did was I didn't look up a single thing yet. What I wanted to do was come home, look up a few things, find something worth money that I can show on the video and say, well, look at this. This is worth this much. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to open the van up. I'm going to kind of show you what it looks like in the van, then I'm going to get the stuff out and show you more detailed, like what's in the boxes and stuff. And I'm going to let you guys decide, am I an idiot or am I an all right reseller? Am I going to do okay? First thing I got to do is make room. Look at this. I don't have any room. All these CDs are listed on the dollar auction. I got to get rid of all this stuff. Move it over so I have some room to work. Because I want to be able to show you guys this stuff in case I'm a really smart reseller. And if I'm not, whatever. Now I'm going to open this fan. I'm just going to forewarn you and forewarn Donna in case she don't see this till it comes out. <laughs> when I open this van door, there is going to be a collective groan or a collective sigh from the viewers. But before you get too judgy, hear me out. Let me explain my thinking and let me show you a couple things about what's in the back of the van here. But here we go. There it is. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> and everybody's like, what? You bought what? Collectible what? I paid $250, but there's a lot more than just those figures. But as far as the figures go, I want to show you a couple things about them that I really liked about them. I don't usually do the listing of figures Donna's does. Figures Donna's does. Donna does. Um, she does a lot of the collectibles, breakables, stuff like that. But there's some, a few things that I noticed about these that I thought was really, really cool. So here, let me show you a couple things. There's a lot of animal ones, a lot of flower ones. And yes, I did drive home with them like this. When I looked there, I didn't see any chips on anything i'm gonna pull a few of these trays out and there's a few of them that i want to show you i just thought they were really really cool and i think they'll do well okay grab six trays right here there's still one two three four five six seven eight nine ten trays so there's 16 trays total of figures that is not everything that i bought so we're going to show you some other stuff there's like some barbies and stuff um show you that but first i want to go show you some of these figures so when i was looking at these the first thought i had when i pulled up and i looked at it was oh no just like you probably thought but then i get to looking and some of these they're really really cool and there's no chips on them so these are all almost all homico 1988 they're 80s porcelain statues but i don't see chips they're dusty they've been in his garage for many years he couldn't even tell me how long they've been in there 1984 and so i know i've sold things like this on ebay i've shipped things that donna has listed so but i just thought there's some really cool ones and like these bird ones with no chips and all those flowers and the wings and everything i just thought they're really really cool and they're not all busted up. This is 1994 here. I haven't looked anything up. Nothing. There's a cool Blue Jay. This is 1985. He needs a wipe down. They all need a little cleaning, but as his beak chipped, yeah, his beak is chipped. We'll set him aside. He might get an early burial. But look at this one. Look at that. Look at the all the little pieces are here in the middle of the flower whatever you call that just super super nice super cool this is 1993 and so i just thought 
$250 is what I spent on everything. And there's a lot more in the van. As many pieces as there are, I, you know, especially with us having the dollar auction to be able to move stuff, I really am confident that I'm going to make money. I just don't know how much. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. They, These may not sell ever, but I think on the dollar auction I can at least move them. But, I don't know. Like I said three other times, I think. I haven't looked up a single piece, and I'm not going to worry about it. Look at this one. This cool cool piece right I don't think there's any chips I looked this one over when I was there this is 1991 I was an 18 year old troublemaker in 1991 else we got we got dogs this little doggy dog this is 1985 pretty cool there's a bird on a stick again the birds are so cool because of the detail and if they're not chipped, them are so cool, the flowers and everything. And that is 19... 1990. It's the year I graduated. Uh, the horse. There's bunny rabbits. There's a... What is this, a baby cow? A sheep? I don't know what it is. There's a... It's like a mallard duck. Oh, look at here. A bag of watches. I don't know what kind of watches. Didn't even know they were in here. So maybe there's something in there that's worth it. There's an old little grinder, whatever. There's an eagle. Another duck, a swan. Nope, if I don't break it. Yeah. So there's lots of cool things. Whatever that is. 1981. Don't know what bird that is, but that's pretty cool. And then if I go in here and show you, like I said, there's some things that ain't gonna sell. Um, there's these people, I don't know. Hold on, a little telescope action. There's these figures. I don't know nothing about these. They might be worth a lot of money. They might not be worth anything. These are different. These see, there's a mark on there. I don't, I'm not familiar with the mark, but I'll look it up. But it has a number then. I don't know the brand or whatever. Everything's dusty. Been in his garage for a long time. We got piggies. We got more dogs, chickens, more people. Back there we got some more people. A koala bear I see over here. Now down there, there's precious moments in that box. That's why it was okay putting things on top of it, because they're probably not worth anything. Look at the little family of ducks back there. A little squirrel on this planter. So anyway, lots of figures. Oh, under here. These probably are not worth anything, but I don't know for sure. Little bears. Are these like cherished moment, cherished tays? They say Homeco. So, I don't know. I don't know. A lot of pieces. Let's see what else is in the van. So drop a comment. Do you think the statues alone were a goodbye? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think generally they are, but it's a lot of pieces. A lot of them in really good condition. Let's see what else I got. We open this door. Now here we got a couple Tonka trucks. They're in rough shape. Pretty dirty. But I think they still sell. Alright. Dump truck. There's a road grader, is that what you call it? I don't even know. I didn't have Tonka trucks. I did G.I. Joe's and Transformers in the 80s. Uh, let's do, we got a couple boxes. Got some seat cushions. We got this bag of some kind of just little toys. That's fine. But these boxes, let's let's get a. Let me go around to the other side. I'll show you, and then we're going to get the boxes out, and then I'll actually pull things out of the boxes. I just want to show you that I stacked the van full. We're full here. Another Tonka truck. These are DVD boxes. A whole bunch of games and Barbies in there. And then this side, here's some old, old books. Don't know if they're worth anything or not. Uh, this is some magazines, but I got more Tonka trucks and then boxes. All right, I just did a rough count, very rough count. I didn't count the really small, small pieces, but uh, figures, I think it's right about 100 figures. So does that make a difference in your ideas and your thoughts on whether or not this was a good buy? 
If that doesn't, let's look through these four. I left, there's a box of puzzles in there. There's the DVDs. There's like just some games, stuff like that. I left all that in there. We won't go through all that. But we're gonna go through these four, three boxes and one Ikea bag. We're gonna pull everything out, see what's in here. And then you can give me your final determination. Did I flush money down the toilet? Or am I gonna make some money on this deal? So let's go. All right, let's start with this bag. Like I said, I bagged it up, but I didn't look at nothing. Budweiser Frosty Mug, 1997. All right. Barbie and Ken. Stars and Stripes. There's a receipt inside there. It was 1999 at KB Toys. The box is a little beat up, but look, looking for a year. 1992, that is. So, got Barbie and Ken. We got a solid wood backgammon game, and this is really heavy, so that must be what that is. We got an old Candyland game. Candyland bingo. Crayola travel thing. I don't know. We got fabulous fashions, model magic. Then we have a the mandatory Husker Barbie. Had a few of those over the years. Box is in pretty good condition. It's just dirty. Needs a little cleanup. But that does that does well in the dollar auction. And looky there, we have another Husker Barbie. So we'll those will probably go locally. We have a tennis shoe bank, I guess. Not very exciting there. That little wood thing. My grandma had one of these. Never quite understood it, but you know, can fascinate you for a little period of time. Seems like it's not spinning real well. Maybe they're crashing in there. But anyway, um, Jimmy Dur Durante? Durante? No idea. I don't know who this is. Never heard of him. I don't know nothing about this figure, but he's got a, I see a wooden stand back there. So I haven't looked, like I said, I haven't looked any of this up. I don't know if Jimmy is worth anything or not. That's what he looks like. But let me see if there's a year on the box. Oops. I don't see a... Well, wait a minute. I don't see a year on here, but this is from McCormick Distilling Company. Weston, Missouri. Straight bourbon whiskey. Is this a decanter? It might be a decanter. I'm not sure. You know what? Let's look. There's no rules here, right? I can stop and look. Let's take, a, take this out of the box. Check it out. Let's see what we got here with Jimmy. Jimmy Durante. Oh, man, that is in there. Snug. Snug as a bug in a rug. Dude. It's a music box. But this has whiskey in it, dude. It's like... It's like... You hear that? Oh, yeah. We're gonna get lit up tonight. I'm gonna open this up. Whatever Donna ain't feeling well, she gonna feel well tonight. Gonna have him some her some Jimmy Durante whiskey. Okay, I'm just kidding. Probably not. But that's interesting. I don't know. Does anybody know anything about that at all? Never heard of it. All right, back to the bag. We got a couple games. Battle of the Sexes operation so what we do with these usually is just uh see if we think all the pieces are there and then put on the dollar auction here is i don't know what this is what is this jenga jenga box you know in a jose cuervo box <laughs> yeah that's uh, yeah, match made in heaven or something. I don't know. So, all right, that's the bag. Three more boxes to go. I am making a mess in my garage. 
Uh, let's see. Porcelain nativity set. Nativity sets do well. I don't know if this one will, but it'll do something. What do we got in here? Bath time, color change bath tablets. A little junior sports watch. Nothing fancy there. Nothing there. Bath time watercolor wand. I don't know. Frame. Another frame. Looks like a tea towel with a calendar. 1987. Probably not a tea towel, but a calendar is what that I think that is. Um, this is a light magnifier for Game Boy Color from Pelican. So, you know, that might be worth something. I wish it was a Game Boy, but... Two Shots Missile Shooter. Neon Color Tape. Could use that for shipping, right? Probably don't stick that well. A couple random loose toys. Here's a doll. What's this? G.I. Joe Extreme! With quick draw combat action. What year is that from? What year is that from? 1995. That's 1995. I wish it was 1985. Playing card set. Power glider. Water shooter. Create frame glitter art. Oh, go go out here! Can't come out here. Guys, Donna wants to come out and see what I got, but she don't want to be filmed. I have to take a break. Great news, guys. <laughs> Donna came out, took a look around. She's like, "Oh no, you'll do good. You'll make money." Like she's like, she's pretty happy with this. So, whew. a little uh, relaxation now. No, I'm just kidding. Donna, she lets me do what I want and let her do what I want, and we support each other. It's all good. The rest of this box, there's a couple little toys. Then I forgot. A little wind-up toy. Looks old. Made in Taiwan. There's no year on it, though. Um, this box is just paper in it. That was in the van. You would think I would have used some of that paper to wrap up some figures, but where do you even start? There's so many. All right, next box. Sparkling toy machine gun. Heaven forbid we sell a toy gun. No year on it, unfortunately, but cool. A couple of loose toys. Let's see here. A little bag of some toys. They kind of look, at first I thought they might be Transformers, but I don't believe they are. Oops, sorry, I got the camera in a bad spot. I don't believe they're Transformers. I'm not sure what they are, but probably nothing too special. Well, that little one's a Transformer right there. Tell you what, if that's a, if that's a Transformer, that could be worth it. Could be worth something, I mean. So, anyway, there was one of uh, these lanterns. So I, he said, do you want it? I said, absolutely. We'll take everything. Give everything a shot. Oh, look, another toy gun. Man, we are bad people selling our toy guns all right grand old arby grand old opry grand old army grand old opry barbie rising star includes a musical cd there's grand old opry barbie now we got the microphone there's something going on over here there's a cd in the lid maybe it was this no, oh, this probably was this. It's like, it might have been rubber bands just got old and broke. I don't know. But there's her gold record. So that's, I don't know, might be worth something. Put her back here. And then we got G.I. Joe. Gung Ho. Dress Marine. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Uh, I played G.I. Joe's when I was little. They were the little G.I. Joe's. And like, I had him in the smaller version. What year is this? I'm guessing early 90s 1992 yeah i don't know might be worth something he was on clearance for 13 dollars so you know what i will look this up and pop up a comp right here and see if it's worth anything and then we got a little bear 
And then we got a Barbie special edition holiday presents gift set. And that is from 1998, so it's not super old, but there's a Chrissy baby sister of Barbie swing and play. And it's just dusty. I mean, this is brand new, but it's just dusty. It was on clearance at KB Toys for $5. Fat Bat. Dude, I had a kite like that once. It's seriously. Pomida, 1997. You don't see many Pomidas around anymore. Some blocks. Some more blocks. And a couple of these little outfits. I don't know what they are. This is made in China. It's just the board. There's no wrapping, so we don't know what they're for. But whatever. All right, last box, and then we'll wrap this up, and you can tell me your opinion. Three more outfits. Then we got Max Steel with the Amazon Blaster Firing Swamp Rifle. Yeah, Max Steel. And this is, again, looking for a year. You can't find a year on him, but whatever. Probably... Early 90s, early to mid 90s. What do we got here? Doll shoes, looks like. There's a rocket. Here is the top, the hurricane, I think it's called, of this lantern. Here's a oct octoscope. I assume it's like a kaleidoscope toy. Here's a fast car. This is a metric, it's from Ertl. Ertl Hydromag Division of GMC metric. I don't see a year on it, but this is 1943. Well, that ain't right. I don't know what that is. It's just a car. Barbie pet loving. It's Barbie and there's a puppy in there, but the Barbie's pet is floating around. He's not on a leash, apparently. Bad Barbie. Here's another Barbie. Lunch date. That looks like a, oh, her hair's pressed back there. I thought she had like a bob cut or something, but anyway, Barbie lunch date. Uh, Inesco Calico Kittens figure. We have a few knives. Look at this. Not these are much, but let's take a look. It's got a spike on the end. You know what that's for? That's for if you ever drive your car into a lake and you can't break your window, you take your super duper knife and you use this to punch out your window. Probably not exactly, but uh, it says China. The Alabama Slammer. 440 stainless, stainless steel. Alabama Slammer. Alright. Do something with that. Uh, we got another knife here. And this has some engraving on it, it looks like Special Forces. I don't think it's actually Special Forces. It says, From Destiny to Dad. So, Dad got himself a Special Forces knife. I can't read, it's too small about that, but, you know, cool. If you're into that kind of thing, it's kind of cool. Uh oh, lost the sheath. I'll get that in a little bit. All right, let's see what else is in here. We have a light with a toy train holding on for dear life. Yeah, interesting. Set him in here. And down in here we have some random little toys. Pick up sticks. Dolly Madison. Inflatable. It looks like Snoopy's on there. I believe it's, yeah, Snoopy. Some kind of inflatable. Toy. Oh, where did I... Let's see what kind of knife we got here. Oh, it's, it's missing a bunch in the middle. It's rusty, a little bit of rust spots on it. And this says, Frost Cutlery Flying Falcon. It's a flying falcon. It says China on that side. So, so we'll put that with the other knife. And what else we got down in here? There's a little little bitty knife. Is it another knife? Yeah, it looks like maybe a fillet knife. Let's take a look at that. A little rusty. Rusty fillet knife. I don't see any markings on it. Put that with the other family of knives. 
We got a little Buddy Z Kenworth truck with a dragon on the side. What a little cuckoo clock it says West Germany on it. Look, it moves the eyeballs in the back. Oh, that's cool. Linder, it says. But I wonder if that works. If that works, that might be something worth checking out. Uh, a couple more little toys down in here. Oh, got another knife. There's some kind of little decorative emblem thing there. It's in... It's in rough shape. I can't even... I can't even get it open, so I'll mess with that more later, but another knife. Here's another knife. Pretty basic plastic knife, plastic handle. Oh, we got a couple more knives. No. Let's see. Oh, that's just the case probably for this one. We got this here. What is that? Is it an alligator? What the heck is that? Is it like one of those old Egyptian things? I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Folds open, says stainless steel, and nothing else on it. So, it's an old knife. Interesting. I don't know. I just. Yeah, I think that's an alligator. That's it. I just didn't have it turned the right way. I think that's an alligator. Put in with the other knives, and I think. That's it. Just some little toys here. Random stuff. Little pink piggy. Telephone, whatever. So, yeah. Then up here, like I said, we got one, two, three, four, five. Right there, six Tonka trucks. An electric skillet. That's all puzzles in that box. Um, this is a toy. There's a bunch of old books. And there's a, like a CD player down here. I'm not going to dig that out right now. And then a few just like, looks like dog dishes or something down here. And then those three have DVDs. So I think that's about it. It's like a Pampered Chef ice shaver, if that's what it is. That's what it is. Pampered Chef ice, ice shaver. Ice, ice baby. Um, that's it. What do you think? $250. I think there's easily over 250 pieces. But what do you think? It's a lot of statues and random stuff, but a lot of old toys. Hopefully one or two of them Barbies or G.I. Joes or something were something. But what do you think? Tell me in the comments. Did I just flush my money down the toilet or you think I'm going to do all right? Or did I pay what it's worth? I don't know. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you on the next one. We're Happy Heart Treasures. I'm Steve. Donna's inside not feeling well. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.